Hey guys, so I will be making an aloe vera leave-in conditioner. In order to do so, I need the aloe vera and some black Jamaican black castor oil, some rosemary essential oil, a stocking cap or a strainer, measuring cup or bowl, an actual bowl that you will place your strainer or your stocking cap over some rosemary leaves and also some pure aloe vera juice and I'm going to start cutting up the aloe vera that I just rinsed off and I am going to remove the sharp edges from the sides of the aloe which I kind of cut too big just now on that side. So I'll try to slice a little thinner on this side. But this aloe vera plant is kind of narrow. And so I'll slice it as so, and I'll speed up the process so I don't have to keep you waiting, okay? What did I do so far? I placed the aloe vera gel inside of the blender. You do need a blender. It doesn't have to be a Vitamix, but it could be a Nutribullet, but just make sure you blend it well. And I also placed the aloe vera juice inside. I placed one cup of aloe vera juice in the blender, in addition to some one tablespoon of rosemary leaves. And that's to stimulate the hair growth and to add volume to the hair. So I am going to blend these contents together. Once I'm done, I'm going to strain it out. Once I strain it out, I'm going to add some Jamaican black castor oil and some rosemary and some rosemary oil to this spray bottle and shake together well. And I'll be done. I'll speed up the process so you don't have to watch the entire thing in slow motion. Hey guys, so this is how the oil looks now that I strained it out. And, well, not really the oil, but the leave-in aloe vera conditioner. And I'm actually going to drop some oil in there. <laughs> That's why I said oil. But this is why I strained it out. I wanted you to see that if you don't strain it out, the gook from the rosemary leaves and the aloe vera contents, you see there's more. There's a video that I did previously where I had an aloe vera plant that was very ripe. And because it was ripe, there wasn't so much gook that was inside the stocking cap or the strainer. But being that this wasn't very ripe, and it was a fairly new, I don't want to say new, but younger aloe vera plant, it was full of much more potency, I'd say. And so that's what's inside along with the rosemary leaf. So be sure to strain it, okay? Now, as stated, I'm going to place two tablespoons of Jamaican black castor oil. some rosemary oil, which is also good for hair growth. The Jamaican black castor oil is for thickness of your hair and strengthening your hair as well. I did say I was going to place two tablespoons. And this is my 
leave-in aloe vera conditioner that I made myself. I didn't buy from the beauty supply store. And I'm going to place it back inside the blender because I don't have a nozzle. I'm going to get a nozzle. So that I can place the contents in my spray bottle. Once I'm done, I'm going to tighten it with the top. And I'll use this daily since it's, it's, since it's a leave-in aloe vera conditioner. And I spilled some. It smells very much like eucalyptus. So it does smell a bit medicated. But that's how I know it's about to work. And I'm going to braid my hair into a protective style. But I just wanted to show you if you like this video, if you found it informative, please like, comment, and share. Just in case you need to see what these look like. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.